Um, we're here at the Pangolin office about to test uh, Lazorb's ability to test uh, to protect one of these new M140 blue laser diodes. And these are the latest generation of blue laser diodes, and uh, they're using the latest versions of video projectors. Um, some people are able to get two watts out of each one of these, so it's it's the latest highest power generation. And if you're able to zoom in on that, you can see that there's a little dot um, in between those two leads there. And that is the thing that really indicates that this is an M140 laser diode as opposed to an A140 laser diode. Um, so what we're going to do is, that I've got Lazorb on here. This is protected by Lazorb. I've got a simple uh, battery-operated laser diode power supply here that when I uh, put the battery on, you can see that the laser operates, and I can't operate this continuously because without a heat sink, this laser diode just really will stop working eventually. So uh, what I've got here is it's protected by laser. We will go ahead and uh, hit it with uh, 20 shots a second here. You see that? All right. So we're hitting it with 20 shots a second, 15 kV ESD. Um, protected by Lazorb, when we activate the battery power supply here, you can see that it's still lazing with no problem. So, um, what I'm going to do now is cut off the Lazorb so that the Lazorb is no longer protecting this laser diode. Just like that. So now we've just got the laser diode sitting out there all by, its, uh, all by itself. And what I'm going to do is, instead of hitting it 20 shots a second, we'll only hit it a single shot and see what happens. So, there was one shot, 15 kV ESD, laser diodes history. So, obviously, Lazorb is able to provide an additional level of protection even to these newest uh, generation of blue laser diodes.